Hi, I'm Charlie Love and welcome to this Chrome Enterprise tutorial of Apps Events and Acer. And today what we're going to do is have a look at managing aliases with GAM in Google Workspace. And this is relatively straightforward to do. There's a few simple commands that you can master around using GAM and they will allow you to set up aliases, change those aliases to assign them to other users, groups or targets. Uh, will allow you to list all the accounts that have aliases or investigate a particular account to find out whether that email address is a user or if it's a group or if it's an alias. And also finally, to delete or remove aliases from accounts. Uh, so that's what we're going to have a look at. We're going to go through the kind of key commands for that. So let's get started. So creating an alias for a user or a group is relatively straightforward. You just use gam create alias, then the alias that you want to create, and then you either do it for a user, a group, or a target, and then you use the email address. Now, user and group you probably get, user being a normal user, group being a normal group that you would create in Google Workspace. But a target, well, that's what you use that when you don't know whether it's a user or whether it's a group. So you can use a target to substitute that for to mean both. It could mean either. So you can use a set an alias for a target and that doesn't matter whether it's a user or otherwise. So um, let's go on and create some aliases in just a second. We're going to do this. First one is going to be a user and the user is called a teacher at whatever our domain is. And we're going to give that teacher the alias ski trip. So email sent to ski trip at our domain will go to a teacher. Similarly, we'll set up all projects and that will be an alias for our group eCar project. And we'll just show you how that target works. And we'll you create an alias called awesome for the target user, Charlie. So here I am, I'm in cloud shell, I have already typed in my first command, which is gam create alias ski trip user a teacher to create the alias. Grand, that will now go away and create that alias for us. I can also now create the alias for the eCar project. So that means all projects, when you email that address, it'll go to the eCar project group. And notice I've used group because I know that eCar project is a group. So that's created that alias. And the last one I'm going to do is use it as a target. In this case, I'm going to do create gam create alias awesome. Target is Charlie. And that will create an alias of awesome for that particular target. So I can update an alias, just you know, very similar to creating them. In this case, um, I just use gam update alias and the same uh commands as before, so user, group, target, and then whatever the username was for that account. So back in Cloud Shell, and I've entered the command gam, update alias ski trip, user Charlie. And this will change where the alias points to. So it was pointing to a teacher, and now it's pointing to the user Charlie. So you can report on aliases as well. So you can use the command gam print aliases, and you can do that to drive. If I want to get some information just about a particular alias, I can do gam info the alias and the alias and then the name. Uh, or if I want to see if an email address work out whether it's a user or an alias or a group, I can do gam what is and then the email address. So let me show you that working in Cloud Shell. So I can enter the command gam print aliases to drive and this will print all of the aliases for my domain. So that's listed all of the aliases, both for my users and for my groups in, in my domain here. And if I want to act, to go and view the file that I've created, I just click on the link and it shows me the file here in Google Sheets. And it will tell me the type of the account as well as give me the alias and the target. Now I've blurred out the details here just for privacy, um, but you can get the idea We've got the alias, the target, and then the target type, whether that's a user or whether that's a group. So I'm now back in Cloud Shell and I want to use the info command to find out more about a particular alias. So I'm going to do gam info alias awesome and find out more about that. 
and it's going to tell me details about which user that email alias is associated with. So we can see it there, that information's in there, it's associated with this Charlie user. Now I can also use the what is command to find out whether an email address is um, a user or an alias or our group. So I can use that gam what is command, gam what is the email address, and this time it tells me that it's an alias and it will tell me who that alias belongs to. So very similar to the gam info command, gives it a little bit more information about that as well. So we can delete an alias, so we can delete that from the domain, domain relatively easily. We just use the gam delete alias and then the alias name. So let's go and remove all of the aliases that we've just set using Cloud Shell. So the first alias I set up was the one ski trip. So I'm going to do gam delete alias ski trip, which will remove that alias. And then I can use gam delete alias awesome, which will remove that alias. And finally, I will move the alias that I assigned to the group gam delete alias all projects and that removes the all projects alias. So I hope you found it useful to see some of the GAM commands that you can use to manage aliases. Um, I'm Charlie Love. Thanks for watching this Chrome Enterprise tutorial with Apps Events and Acer. Mm -hmm.